The cathedral bells toll across the rooftops of Luxembourg as they have since medieval times. But they're being drowned out today by a new sound. The cranes and construction workers racing to build office space for what they believe will be a huge exodus from the city of London. For rival financial centres, Brexit is a potential goldmine and Luxembourg wants its share. Other vultures circling. I don't look at uh, anybody as vultures. But you're in competition with of Paris, course. Dublin, Frankfurt. You all want a bit of the cake. Uh, everybody is ready to receive them. They're all welcome. Others are much more active than we are. We have a long-standing partnership with London. Actually, over the last 20 years, we build a symbiotic relationship with the financial industry in London, and we want to continue that relationship. One financial technology firm, PPRO, is not waiting to see whether the Article 50 negotiators can get a special deal for the city. They say they can't afford to wait, and 200 new jobs will now be created in Luxembourg and elsewhere, rather than London. It wasn't what they wanted. So the UK and London in particular is just a fantastic place for a financial services business to operate from. Uh, we're in the payments business and you have talent here, experienced people. So you don't want to leave, you feel you have to leave? Oh, absolutely. This is not an action we would have remotely considered without Brexit. The UK government will clearly like a good deal for the city in the Article 50 negotiations, but it's not clear they hold a strong negotiating hand. If it were just the government here in Luxembourg that was interested in taking some of London's business, the negotiations might be more straightforward. But it's also Paris, Amsterdam, Madrid, Warsaw, Dublin, most of all Frankfurt, each of them wanting a slice of London's pie, none with an interest in compromise that would make life easier for the city after Brexit. Some in London hope that damaging the city as a source of finance would hurt the EU as well, making a deal in everyone's interests. Others aren't convinced. This will hurt them as much as it hurts us if there's no deal. Is that true? No, I think it's a greater threat uh, to us. So we're at a very weak position uh, as far as negotiation with the EU is concerned in protecting London's dominance of finance in the European Union. So perhaps it's not surprising that some big city firms aren't waiting for the government to pull a rabbit out of the hat in these talks but are already heading into the warm embrace of Luxembourg and beyond. James Mates, ITV News, Luxembourg.